Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Kamala Harris just got roasted on national television, and it was glorious. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Vice President Kamala Harris visited a Planned Parenthood clinic, or as I like to call them, a abortion clinic, because that's what they are. She visited a Planned Parenthood clinic this week, becoming the first sitting vice president and or president to ever visit a Planned Parenthood clinic. While there, she was grilled by reporters about what took so long, because of course it's never good enough. And just a myriad of other questions to which she gave her typical word jumble answers. And when you watch her giving these answers, you're, she says much of nothing, which is hilarious, but the more she exposes herself like this before the election, damages the Biden-Harris campaign, in my opinion. Now, while she was at the chop shop, the Planned Parenthood clinic, she, you know, didn't seem to have the right answers, and she tried to toe this kind of politically correct line of, you know, let's not say the word abortion, but let's, you know, talk about women's reproductive health care rights, which is abortion. I want you to take a look at this video and then give me your thoughts when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Questions. Okay. We're, we're going to start with Rochelle from the Star Tribune. Hi, Vice President. Um, why do you think it took so long for a sitting president or vice president to visit an abortion provider? And also, how concerned are you about the 20% vote uncommitted in the Minnesota presidential primary? Well, I'll tell you the reason I'm here is because this is a health care crisis. And I think that of the many stories that we can tell, excuse me, <coughs> of the many stories that we need to tell about what has happened after the Dobbs decision, one of them is that part of this health care crisis is the clinics like this that have had to shut down. And what that has meant to leave no options with any reasonable geographic area for so many women who need this essential care. And again, it runs the gamut of reproductive health care. So yes, it is abortion care. It is also, as I mentioned earlier, essential and critical reproductive health care like PAPs, like breast cancer screenings, things of that nature. So I'm here to highlight that of the many, I believe, potentially intended consequences of the Dobbs decision, one of them has been for health care providers such as this in the states that have banned or outlawed access to reproductive care, state clinics like this to shut down. And it's a travesty. It's a travesty. Madam Vice President, <laughs> we're going to go to our ask? next question. Madam Vice President Darlene, right to your left, AAP. Hi, thank you. Uh, we were not able to go with you on the tour, obviously. Can you give us a sense of what you saw back there and also what you learned by coming here today? Well, what I saw were. I don't know, maybe two dozen healthcare workers who really care, really care about their patients, and who understand that in the healthcare delivery system, regardless of your gender or your healthcare need, I think we should all expect, and certainly we all desire, that you will be treated with dignity. And you'll be treated in an environment where you feel safe. And by that, I mean safe to be free from judgment, to be in an environment where you are actually and really listened to, where your needs and your expression of your needs are taken seriously. And walking through this clinic, that's what I saw, are people who have dedicated their lives to the profession of providing health care in a safe place that gives people dignity. And I think we should all want that for each other. Thank you, Vice President. Madam Vice President. Nick at the New York Times. Um, Madam Vice President, what do you see as your role on this issue, given that the administration has run up to the limit of what it can do to protect abortion rights, and Congress is unlike 